one problem like the main one of the main reasons I like sort of like distance myself from the feminist movement like sort of relates to this and it's sort of like the myth that like it's a it's good for a woman to be engaged in hookup culture it, that it's like good for a woman to be engaged in hookup culture because I like don't think that's true I think it's like pretty damaging for women but it's like somehow advertised as like this is good for you and I cannot see like how there would be like any like that it's like necessarily good for women and then also just like the point like about like honestly like I'm if if I my assessment of those girls saying like they want their time to like explore themselves in their 20s it would be like to sleep around but like the irony that I just feel like isn't really like told to women is like how you really find yourself is by like spending time like alone like not like I the period where I like found myself was like in high school when I was like never like talking to guys ever like that that was like yeah so I yeah those are just like two myths of like modern feminism that like relate to this that I feel like are like bad for women what was the what was the first one that you said it was uh that that, it's... that like hookup culture is good for women so why why do you think it's bad how can like how can like sleeping with a guy who has like no like incentive to like pleasure you serve you i just like don't understand that like if that makes sense and i think it's advertised as like it's empowering to sleep around and i don't think it is i think mm. it's just like to me in my head that kind of like serves men like a lot <laughs> more than it like might serve serve women i mean there's the positive side of it which is like don't slut shame girls who are sexual and want to like express themselves sexually but the bad side is like i feel like and saying that like you're like I, but i equally have like friend, girlfriends in college who are like shamed for being a virgin which that yeah if that makes sense like shamed for like not sleeping with guys i have friends like that i have a best you friend have who's women like that. that are shamed for being virgins yes it's probably yes. very rare but I've, i feel like i've heard i mean i've heard shamed men. by other girls i mean shamed by other girls oh, yeah. who are by women feminine. who are yes yes sluts. shamed by other well shamed by other girls who think it's like they're like they're confused and they like like are doing something bad for themselves by not sleeping with men i could see i could see that because because their virginity is probably some sort of a uh, like a looking mirror and they're like oh fuck I'm a hoe. What? I don't think that's what she meant. <laughs> I mean, at me, all. I mean, no. Well, the women the no. women that are judging just that I think we're conditioned to think that like sleeping around is not only like normal as a woman but good for you like you're getting something out of it you're empowering yourself you're mm -hmm. like that I think is like spread around I think that's where it comes from. Well, I mean my. My take on this would be the only women that would shame women who are virgins must be promiscuous women. A woman who's vow who has some degree of sexual purity or is a virgin herself is not going to shame another woman who's a virgin. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Definitely. Someone who's like has a low body count. A low body count woman is not going to shame a woman who is a virgin. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not. That's that's yeah. my sense of it anyways. So. Yeah. Getting some stares from the girls at the table on this one. <laughs> I'm lost completely. <laughs> I'm completely lost. What, what do you mean, why are you lost? No, which is that. Do you disagree with her? What? About what she said? Yeah. I don't agree or disagree. It's whatever she. I mean, oh. I, I sleep at night fine if I agree or disagree or not. You know, like Fair it, it doesn't. I mean, I, you know, for me, I do it. For my own pleasure you know so yeah and you mentioned when you mentioned like the whole one night stand thing or you mentioned pleasure are you saying and I, I think you're you would be right in saying this most women are probably more likely to be able to climax with a partner if it's a continuous partner versus just hook up hook up hook up like and you said guys aren't particularly focused on women's or pleasure even just like in a never. one night stand like, i've had like friends who have been with like a lot of guys like many 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 guys and never came like before ever until until like so in my head i'm like how can you like what are you getting you just have to like sit back and be like what are you getting out of this like 
why are you doing this? And I think it comes, like, girls do it because they think it's something empowering. And, like, in some ways it is, you know, in those, like, masculine ways of, like, oh, the chase, like, compiling a list. Like, and understand why, like, some types of girls would, like, get basically just, like, an ego boost validation from it. But I think it's that's just more, like, turning inward and being, like, is validation, is, like, an ego boost worth, like, my, like, you know, I don't know, like, my body. Yeah. Anyone want to com come in on that? I think that, like, the problem with that statement is that maybe girls are empowering each other to, like, indulge in hookup culture, but as a society, it's a lot more rare for women to be, like, embracing ho hookup culture than it is for men. Men, it's almost always going to be congratulated if they're indulging in hookup culture or getting with a lot of women, but it's a lot more rare for women and, like, even from other women, there is slut shaming and like being looked down upon. And I don't think it's necessarily that hookup culture is a good thing, but I think it's just that women should be allowed to partake in that if men are also. Like it shouldn't be that we're looked down upon for wanting to have that just because we're a woman and we're supposed to be seen as innocent and like low body count. And like, again, I think it's such a highly personal thing that like, if you yourself don't want to be partaking in hookup culture, that is fine, don't. But if you do, not everyone that is is like sleeping with just the sleazy men and not everyone like just your friends are like hooking up with all these guys and never coming. Some people have a really great time in hookup culture, but I just think that it's so much more common for women to who, be looked down upon. Wait, okay, who, who's having a great time in hookup culture? I wouldn't, I'd say it's not the women. Really? I'd say the top tier men. Yeah, definitely men over women, but that's because men are I think more commonly taking part in hookup culture. Women, than women who are just sleeping with a bunch of guys are probably like the, the least happy people. Yeah, I was going to say, like, have some girls try out, like, and just see for themselves. Like, how do they feel about themselves and, like, their life and, like, what they're, like, doing with their time by, like, spending, like, three months taking, like, dating detox, you know, like, no guys, whatever, and just, and then going back into it and, like, only spending time with guys in like a serious way, like just try out like three months of like telling guys no when it comes to sex, see how you feel. And like, yeah. I just wonder if girls did that, how, how it would make it, how it would, how it would make them feel, like and which made them feel better about themselves and like their worth and stuff. I think the need for, or like the, the, the thought that women need to hook up or like you were saying, a lot of women are going into this hookup culture a lot, right? I think it's more of an ego boost for them. Because, I mean, that's how it is for guys, too. It's like, you know, I got with this girl, f*** yeah, bro. Which, mm -hmm. that's a whole thing. Because it's way easier for a woman to get sex than a man. It's, that's just how it is societally. Like, so I think it's, it's more of like an ego thing. Like, hey, all these guys want me. All these guys want me. And Perfect. I think women should start saying like, like, no, bro. Like, you're not, you're not, you're not that guy. Well, maybe I'm just horny because that's not me. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know, like, but also, or maybe I'm just horny. <laughs> if you're actually getting like pleasure out of it and like right. you are finishing and it's it's a good environment, like you were saying, then I oh, think yeah. it's fine if you're sticking to one guy. Yeah. But if it's that's like different. if you're sleeping with a bunch of different guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that's different. And you're not finishing or you're not getting any real pleasure, like full satisfied pleasure out of it. Right. It's like. Well, what what what's the point with that oh, thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's not me. But that's <laughs> like where we're saying like if you're a girl in hookup culture, you're automatically having a bad time, which I think is a very negative stereotype that has been portrayed. And I think like me, I prefer right now at least while I'm in my early 20s taking part in hookup culture and doing whatever I want to do rather than just being tied down right now and like I understand that that's not what everyone wants, but like I think that it's just more normalized for men to be in hookup culture than it is for women. And I'm not saying that it's a good thing for women to be in hookup culture, I'm not saying that it's a good thing for men either, but I just think that it's way more looked down upon for women than it is for men. 